Now that fish story is pretty horrifying. Here's something that's not as horrifying, but honestly, I'm not sure how I feel about it because I'm not really, I don't know much about the science about it, but apparently thermal imaging could be used to like in the future fight against COVID. Like people could use thermal scanners and if you have a high temperature, you might need to get tested. Now I am no scientist. I and I'm I've been homeschooled most of my life, so I may not be the best professional uh, person to go to about this, but that seems like not. A, I don't think that's really a surefire way because, like, what if someone had a fever? Would they have to get tested? That just seems like there could be too many loose ends with using thermal scanning. A care home in Christchurch is already implementing this technology, and there is even a manufacturer who is sort of trying to work on this. And how it will work is if you have a high body temperature of, I think it's 37.5 degrees Celsius, I believe, um, you will have to go, they will have to ask, they will ask you to have your temperature taken with a medical device. Now, I am no scientist, I'm no expert in like body temperature and that, but I feel like that's not the best sort of way to screen against COVID because like what if the person just had a fever? You would have wasted a lot of money getting them tested and a lot of like time just if because they had a fever or something like that. Now, I know some people may be asking, well, what about the room temperature? How are they going to account for that? Well, apparently, they are working with some, um, I don't know if they're engineers, but some people from the University of Canterbury. So they're trying to work on some technology to sort of keep the room temperature somewhat stable, I believe. They're working on that. And I do believe that... Uh, this kind of does from a good come from a good place or a good heart because the person who mentioned the um or like one of the at the residential care place um or i don't know if it's the same i'm pretty sure it is they said that they wanted to use this because that way they could scan people coming in or like visitors and they do realize that it is important especially for um, people in residential care to have visitors because otherwise you could be creating loneliness and family issues and that is very, that's a very noble sentiment. I don't know how, like, the science of thermal imaging and if they'll be accurate in, like, pinpointing COVID, but, yeah, I'll, I honestly don't have much to say on this one. I'll leave this to, like, people who know more about this field to comment down below and discuss this.